Hey, sorry it's been so long since an update. We're coming at you from the marina in Castella Gomelitza. Um, and as you can see, we're on the boat. We've been on it for, um, I think, almost a week now, trying to get all the systems worked out and everything. But the video you're about to see is everything or every reason I didn't produce a video in the, the previous three weeks just because there was so much work to be done. All of the through holes were replaced and, and some of them were were badly corroded. Some of them were still good, but you never know. It's a gamble, so it's better just to replace them. The swim platform had been damaged uh, during charter season, so that had to be uh, repaired and have some um, restructuralization done. So that, is that a real word, restructuralization? It had to be uh, kind of re-engineered so that it would be strengthened. There was, uh, we replaced the deck faucet um, and the manual bilge pump on the back of the boat. You'll get to see that little project, some of that project. Um, the solar arch, which you'll get to see some of, was uh, a beautiful creation by one of the stainless steel builders here. It's also going to work as a, a davit when we're just making small runs, um, not doing long passages. So that's nice. And that solar arch will help us uh, not use diesel in the generator and uh, kind of get us off the grid more because those solar panels, there's going to be uh, almost 1200 watts of, of electricity produced, DC produced. Um, launch day and at the end of the video of course you're gonna see uh, launch day number one um, and we'll just fill you in later on the next video on what happened uh, just so you know I want to just disclaim right now it was not my fault so here you go here's the video so we've still got holes in the bottom of the boat which is uh, unfortunate I think with a little duct tape we could probably float this thing um, but the good thing I wanted to show you over here which is really cool was one of my major concerns is the sail drive is back in um, they just need to finish cleaning this up and then get the boot back up there but the props been serviced so that it's all good and then uh, when they do the bottom job uh, we'll paint that with some anti-foul new zincs so that makes me really happy to have that done and of course uh, more holes back here holes holes everywhere holes Welcome to this week's episode of uh, Boat Yoga.
okay, some definite lessons in patience. Uh, the water tanks were installed and they everything was working well and we tested the system and I fixed a few leaks. But now they're saying uh, after sitting a day or two, there's actually water accumulating under the tank. So the tanks have to be removed and re-welded. Of course, we're not gonna pay for that, but they have to go back and do some work and pressure test the tanks again. So they've got another guy who's a, a uh, stainless steel specialist that's going to do the welding so kind of a bummer because now it's just once again there's another another delay uh, trying to get this thing back in the water so definitely a lesson in patience so since they're waiting for the water tank uh, fiasco to get figured out they're uh, lifting the boat this morning and they're gonna uh, put the rudder back on so that's a good thing at least they're getting some work done Okay, so I'm here on the boat updating. Stop it. Just, you're just. We are on the boat doing. This is a different one. Also, it is some stuff. And we're fixing lights and uh, yeah. But here's an update on what the boat looks like. So, here's. One of the back cabins and floor and it is a total mess. And the other back cab oh you can't really see it, but it's filled with stuff. And oh. then forward cabins. That's one of them. And then more. And this is mine, obviously the special one. All secluded. And yeah, so we're it's a great progress, sort of, not really, but you know. Progress, it's uh, hard to see. progress, but yeah, it's hard to see because. Uh, yeah, can we go? Oh, Maddie, get some B roll. No, not that. That'd be so much cooler. It's raining super hard. See, outside, the little dot dots, you know? Dot, 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 I don't know if I can see it. Put it a little bit closer. Yeah, now so the old lights aren't very bright uh, not as bright and they're less efficient than the new LEDs so you can see we put a new LED over there that's a nice new one and we're gonna put one up here so I'm just made a template for the cutout because it's the new lights are a lot bigger So there's lots of things I love about Hanza. Two things I don't. One, the system they used for the water pipes, and I guess this is on any boat. Um, there's the hull, and then there's a shell or grid that fits inside the hull. And uh, 
So there's a little area back here that never really drains into this sump. This is the sump right here. This is the sump pump. It's supposed to be the lowest part on the boat, but it's really not the lowest part on the boat because the lowest part on the boat is actually right behind that hole back there. And so underneath the engine pan, there's water that accumulates after a while um, when you're working on pipes or spilling anything. So I'm just sucking all that water out to see how dry we can keep it because a dry boat is a less smelly boat. It's disgusting, man. Well, you're not talking through your nose, are you? I wasn't talking when you said that. Alright, we're moving along. You got the numbers put on the boat for the registration. And we'll get the name put on the back when we do the proper animal sacrifices or whatever is required to get this done. And we're just sitting here enjoying a beautiful Croatian winter day. This is one reason we wanted to be in Turkey by now. It'd be about five degrees Celsius warmer and uh, I don't know, we've just seen a lot of Croatia. We're ready to move on. but. Uh, so, part two of water tank installation is happening today, so we'll go up and show you what that's looking like. On the way, I'll show you the, the steering. We actually have steerage now. The steering wheels are back on. So, and the hatches have all been put back on. All these things have been repaired. Cylinders new plate over the engine cover to keep the water out of the engine controls <laughs> what's so funny who uh, i do yeah <laughs> Completely crazy. So for us, it's, it's the same thing. Snow, wind, rain is the same. <laughs> wind, go, wind, go. In Croatia, it's work a couple hours, rest a couple hours. I don't know if it's uh, siesta time, but it's it's not even noon yet. Everybody's abandoned me. But uh, we got the generator installed. And then we just need the electrician to come and get everything hooked up and get the rest of the lines hooked up. So when we bought the boat, the generator was not part of the deal. It was part of the deal. It was installed, but it was as is. Um, so when we had it removed and tested, the generator only had 420 hours on it. The only thing wrong with it was the starter. Uh, so they put a new starter in it, did a general service, and now we've got a generator, 4,000 watt generator with uh, less than 500 hours on it. So, bonus! Chasing stars, seeking lights. Never ending paradise. The universal lights. Let's get out of this old place.
Okay, don't tell Poseidon we didn't drink anything, uh, we didn't bust any alcohol bottles, and we didn't sacrifice any small furry animals, so just keep it between you and me.